again and we have a wall. The, late, the latest is going to be starting here in a couple of days. And it's a place where Cesar Vallejo stayed at. It's a very historical space. Cesar Vallejo, the Peruvian poet, famous poet. And uh, we'll see, we're designing them right now. We're waiting for the students to get here and we're going to uh, uh, decide really what's going to go on there. That part is the eagle, and this part is the condor. Face up there like that. The door is open right now, but tomorrow will be closed. And they're gonna add the world in there with America, South America, North America, with a start in San Diego, Chicano Park, start in Ohio, and a start in Peru. Muchas gracias. We're mixing paint. There's a limitations on the paints that we can get here uh, for the price and the colors. So we're gonna do the best we can by mixing primary colors. But as you can see this here, this is yellow and blue, but it looks like they added black to it or something. It's gonna grayish. Mm. Just have to work with that. Mind. It's the profile that we see it in, kind of like that, like little tables. So those will be outlined probably in another color. a lot of things that I've never seen before and it's definitely opened my eyes towards the world. I want to bring back some of the ideas that I've learned from the people I've met here and uh, Mario and uh, and you and um, hopefully I can you know come back someday. Es bueno porque la, el diálogo intercultural en el mundo de hoy se tiene que dar. Las culturas eh, se respetan porque, por ejemplo, acá se habla diferentes idiomas. And this will go the way down. These are coca leaves. Uh, we were all forced to eat co uh, coca leaves to combat the altitude sickness. Did you have some coca leaves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think about it? It's good. Did it actually help you a little bit, you think? Or did oh, you yeah. feel? Yeah. Especially hiking up to Machu Picchu. Yeah, For sure, that's a hike. Yeah. The thing about it is that, is the activity happening here, the interaction, that the community sees and feels. We already seen uh, visitors, tourists come through here because of the mural that was here. So this is a famous area of Lima. You don't find this anywhere in Lima anyway, where there's this activity of artists, obvious that there's art going on here. Artists are painting. They've been carrying on the legacy and we show up every so often to participate. We send, uh, we send people from the United States here. And so it's an ongoing work in progress. Kairolo down the corner. Now that I'm feeling much better too, I'm able then to do what I came to do. You know that food is fantastic, you know, no matter what or where. Such variety of things, the fish, so on. And uh, it's New Year's Eve, that's why it's more activity to it. Perfect, perfect time to do this. The 
idea of North and South America and Central America coming to form sort of a universal but diverse culture and community. But what I like about street art in general, not just this mural specifically, is that it's a risk, you know. Um, there can be, if you get caught, you know, you get, you know, a big fine, you know, you can get sued for, you know, vandalism. And it's sort of like the people's way of um, challenging people in charge. Muy contento de poder conocer nuevos artistas, de gente eh, con ansias también de cambiar esta situación y creo que más adelante vamos a seguir todavía Man, it's easy because different than the university so they're already motivated and they understand they're grown ups so I've given them a free reign you know here and there but most of the time I have to tell you what to do. And that's okay, it's part of the class, the learning, and uh, we're having fun most of all.